Welcome to Landing CPT, OPT, and H1B Jobs, a career guide for international students brought to you by IC Away. I'm your host, Pan Sigo. I'm an experienced human capital consultant with over 15 years working at top organizations like BMW, Accenture, and Deloitte. Now I'm doing what I love as a career coach for international students currently studying or planning to study in the US. In this episode, we will be discussing how to effectively use your work experience gained outside the U.S. to secure job opportunities in America. Contrary to popular belief, U.S. employers are interested in more than just work experience gained within the United States. I know this firsthand because when I first arrived in the U.S. back in 2014, many people told me that my 10 years of work experience in Thailand wouldn't be valuable here. Despite that, I was able to secure a six-figure salary job using that same experience. And I am here to share with you how you can do the same. First, it's important to be your own advocate. Have confidence in your skills, your abilities, and believe that you can be a valuable asset to a potential employer in the U.S. Next, focus on effectively highlighting your international work experience on your resume. Use the APR method. Action, people, and result. The first element is action. Action refers to what you did. For example, managing a project that impacted 3,000 employees nationally. Be as specific as possible and consider mentioning the purpose of the project and your contribution to it. The second element is people. People refers to who you work with, such as your supervisors, your co-workers, or your clients. Showcasing your ability to work well with others in a common skill employers look for. So make sure to include that if it is relevant. The last and most important element is result. Result refers to the outcome of your actions and it's ideal to provide data or statistics to support it. For example, you could mention that the project resulted in 100% percent user acceptance or 80 percent user acceptance that is okay be sure to highlight any major achievements you accomplished in your previous roles that is very important so now you can see that it's so essential to focus on skills and experience that are relevant to the industry you are targeting regardless of where the experience was gained. In conclusion, when building your resume, focus on showcasing your tangible skills and relevant experience. The location of the experience is often not as important as the skills that you gained from it. By following the APR method, you can effectively highlight your international work experience and make yourself a strong candidate for job opportunities in the U.S. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. We will pick one lucky reviewer and if your name is picked, you will receive a free course packed with networking tips to help you tap into the hidden job market. And if you are looking to go beyond this free resource and you want a coaching program to help you land your CPT, OPT, or H1B job, please make sure to visit our website, icaway.com. You will see the link in the description below. When joining my program, the ICA Talent Platform, you will receive comprehensive training to help you build the right strategy to find jobs as an international student. You will be able to build your game plan, your new career brand, and networking skills to tap into the hidden job market and bypass immigration hurdles. 
Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Think big and live your dreams.